The original research into this was done by a man called Robert Rosenthal. So he was a professor of psychology at Harvard University. Rosenthal and his colleagues went into primary schools. They did some IQ tests and also some ability tests like puzzles with a whole bunch of random children. Now those researchers then pulled aside, you know, the parents and teachers of those students and, and told them that certain students, results indicated that they were uh, late bloomers. In other words, they said that these, you know, uh, students had enormous potential and would probably start showing signs of being, you know, particularly intelligent or, or smart, intellectually gifted, you know, sometime over the next coming, you know, weeks or months. Now the researchers' tests were supposedly uh, able to predict that. So after a few months, guess what? It turns out after a few months, their predictions were actually right, okay? They predicted that these late bloomers were going to, you know, all of a sudden become intelligent, you know, in a couple of weeks or months from now. And that's exactly what happened. These late bloomers eventually all um, became, you know, really intelligent or particularly gifted. Those same kids that the researchers said showed signs of being intellectually gifted actually started showing those signs of being intellectually gifted. Their academic performance started to boost and they actually started showing signs of being brighter and more academically confident in comparison with the other kids. Now, here's the, here's the interesting part of the story. The researchers actually picked those children at random. The things that those researchers told those children weren't exactly true. Those teachers and those parents were, were lied to. Um, in actual reality, the kids were just given a dummy test. Then the researchers picked certain kids at random and said that their tests predicted that those specific kids you know, were going to obviously achieve better later, they were gonna bloom, they were late bloomers, and they were going to show signs of being intellectually gifted. Just think about that. These were normal, you know, average kids, ordinary children, with no signs of gifted ability at all. The only thing that actually changed for them as a result were the expectations of the parents and the teachers. So what that study actually shows is that when children are growing up during their developmental years, those adults that are in you know, positions of authority around them, like parents and teachers, essentially mould those students. They're moulding their identities. The way that those adults around them view them and their expectations of them influences the interactions and the dynamic um, they have. Then as a result of the change in dynamic between them, it starts to change those children's identities.